tired to face this tech. I've been messing around with the Game Boy Macros for a while, trying out different ones, the fat ones, the light ones. There's one bugbear I had was the light, was the, the sound is just way too weedy. Um, I started out by putting the speaker on the back, you know, taking the stylus, uh, stylus, stylus holder away, um, having this, the sound come out there, but it was just, this wasn't good enough. And then I kind of moved to seeing that people were using the switch speaker up the front here, which is nice to take out the screen connector, top screen connector board, connector. Uh, you can put, there's enough space in there for it. That was okay, it's all right, it's just not, this wasn't loud enough. There's, um, uh, someone's made a, um, um, uh, an amp board on a flex PCB that goes under the screen um, kind of has a few connectors under there and it has the um, resistor built into it which is really nice it's about £15 here in the UK bit expensive for what I wanted to do to resell arms there's no way that people were going to pay that um, I've been playing around on another project with the PAM boards these are this is, uh, these are just um, like a common amp but because it's got stereo it's just too fat and the chip on it is just too fat so I was um, having a look around I found a mono amp which is the PAM similar PAM one Take some of that thing. but it's just mono I got it from I think I got it for a retro pie project the pie girl um, but then I noticed how thin it was and it's quite small it is a little bit smaller a little bit thinner a little bit narrower but most most importantly it's thinner and I was also messing around with a Wi-Fi board off a DS Lite. I took off all the shielding off it, and I was like, hang on a minute, it is way, way, way thinner than it than it usually is. So what I found was, if that you just took the shielding off the bottom part of the board, there's one. As you can see, this is the original one. That's one with the bottom off. And that's where all completely removed. So I noticed that if you took the bottom shielding off, there's only a little uh, six pin sock chip here. And there's just enough space just to tuck this board under here. Also, um, someone come up with an alternative wiring for the, because um, usually for the speaker, it's on over here. But the uh, found an alternative wiring point under off. Let's see if we can. But it's off this chip here. There's a from in the blog, and blog post. There'll be a and the high detailed picture of this, but it's one of these um, vias off here that you can solder to. So everything is all located in the same area. So what I did was I just wired 3.3 on the front. It's marked up. Put the uh, the wire up around here because then it's like a gap in the sh in the sh uh, front shale in the front uh, faceplate. From around here, wired it into the uh, to the amp. Took the ground from the ground shielding off here because ground is ground. Uh, took the negative because on the board there's um, a audio plus and audio minus. Took the audio minus off the bottom here, and then obviously the uh, audio plus is off the alternative wiring on that chip. So it's all kind of localized, and then just I run the wires for the switch speaker under the DS slot, and there you go. This is the um, the triple um, switch setup that I've got for the switch screen DS. I just thought before I put it all together, I'll just show you what. Um, also, it's got a uh, USB C charge port as well, which is quite nice. But yeah, it's it's um, so it just is really loud, and I'll show you now. Just connect it up. Make sure it's cranked up. As you can hear, it is very loud, and it's even better when you put in. I don't know why, but I think the GBA sounds so much louder than the DS. It's almost that loud that you'd probably want to turn it down as it starts up, because it just has a bit of distortion. But yeah, it's really good, really loud, really impressed with it. It's it's just another option there for you if you just want to. It's just I can get these. I think I bought four of them. And I got them for about a pound each, which is just really cheap. Oh, and the um, the speaker just um, it's just the plus and the minus of this. 
You could probably even chop this down again as well. Um, I think these two go onto one of the resistor ones, the capacitor, so you could probably chop this board down really small, but I didn't want to do that because it's a faff. But yeah, it's just another little option out there for you. Something to move the fo community forwards. As usual, uh, blog post in the description with um, more, more on the um, solder points and that kind of stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.